What's up everybody, it's Graphic Phoenix back with another video today, and today the time has finally arrived. The long awaited Cresta Gecko care video is coming at you right now. Let's get started. So I'm going to break this video into a couple different parts. There's going to be general info, the cage, temps, and water slash food. So let's just start off with some general info. Cresta Geckos, or Corellophus ciliatus, are from New Caledonia. The lifespan is approximately 15 to 20 years. They stay fairly small at around 6 to 8 inches in total length. They also are very easy to care for. They're quite calm, quite tame, and they don't mind being handled, as you can see. Um, I don't hold her too much, but she's obviously being pretty good. This is Tig, by the way. But that's most of the general info. These guys are very straightforward. Amazing beginner pets. They require maybe 20 minutes of care, 10, 20 minutes of care a day. Not that much. And they're awesome and rewarding. They're also a lifetime pet because they live so long. So this is Tig's cage. I will leave a link below if you're interested on what exactly it is, how I built it, what's in there. There's a link on the screen now. Just click anywhere and you guys can go see that video. Alright, so this is just some general info about what size Crested Geckos need. Um, they do require this size of cage. It's a 18 by 18 by 24 tall cage. The 18 by 18 by 18 setup allows them to have this arboreal space that they need. Um, they are quite active at night as they are nocturnal and they love to jump and have fun and fling around and eat their crested gecko diet and that's what they do at nighttime so they are active at night and they do require a decent sized cage considering how big they get. Now we move on to temps. Temps for these guys, room temperature is generally good. Uh, the specific temperatures are anywhere from 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit and for you Canadians and everybody else that use Celsius is 20 to 25 degrees Celsius which is perfect for these guys. At night time, however, they don't require a heat bulb or anything like that. As long as it stays at around very minimum 63 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, that's as cold as you want to get. So if your room is freezing, then maybe I do recommend having a heat lamp. Now you might have seen there actually isn't any light or anything up top there. That's because they do not require heat. Like I said, they still require some fairly low temperatures, as well as they don't require UVB or anything like that. They are nocturnal, so the majority of the time they'll spend their days hiding away in like a nook or cranny in a tree, and they won't get much UV exposure. So I don't even have a light on mine. My room is obviously bright enough, as you can tell, and that's all that's really required for these guys. So now we're moving on to the food and water portion of this care video, and I recommend feeding Crested Gecko Diet. It's a simple powder. Um, that's why these guys are so good because they don't require any crickets. You can just feed them the Crested Gecko powder and that's all Tig gets. And as you can tell, she's doing quite well. A couple different examples of Crested Gecko food are the Pangea Gecko Diet. Um, this happens to be the banana and apricot version. Uh, she seems to love that. It's, it smells like we could eat it. It smells so good. We also have the Clark's Gecko Diet, which is made here in Canada. And this is actually just some leftover Rapashi um, that you can get at your common pet store generally. I don't recommend getting it from there because it's so damn expensive, but whatever. Like as you can see, this was 20 bucks for this big bag. At a pet store you'll be paying um, $20-ish 20, $20 for like 4 ounces, maybe 5. So. Definitely better to order it online or get it at a reptile expo, but that's just my opinion. If you don't have one near you, then by all means get it from a pet store. But like I said, I only feed the Crested Gecko diet. A lot of people have big debates over, oh, you have to feed crickets. I know I've gone in an argument with a couple people about that, and it's not true. You don't need to feed crickets. Yes, Tig might get them once, maybe twice a year as just a little treat. But other than that, she doesn't get any insect protein whatsoever. Um, now there is protein and insect protein in those ge gecko diets, which is why it's a meal replacement, because they don't need crickets. And as for watering, as for watering, you want to water them 
You want to mist them two to three times a day. As you can tell, she doesn't love the misting so much, but if her head wasn't stuck in there, I'd be showing you her drinking, but <laughs> she stuck her head in a hole. And as a rule, you want to be missing two to three times a day, just because their humidity levels require them to stay at not too much below 50% humidity, and this is actually how they drink. As you can tell, there's actually no water bowl or anything in here. That's the Crested Gecko Diet Bowl. And you want to miss two to three times a day just to keep that humidity high enough for them and to keep them well hydrated. Of course, you don't want your crested gecko to go starving or anything. Now, for a mister, for me, for my practical uses, I have a big, giant, two-gallon, it looks like, mister. And that works perfectly because I have two chameleons. I have her. I have my tortoise that I missed every now and then. So I have a lot to miss. But for you guys, I recommend going to your local garden center and getting just one of their small spray bottles. I don't recommend getting any of them from pet stores just because it's so expensive just for such a terrible little exoterra pump mister that I've broken like eight of. Whereas this I've had for a couple years now and it still hasn't broken and you can find them in smaller cans like I think there's like a half liter and a, or a half gallon and a one gallon so It'll be good for anybody, and of course, even if you have one, that'll last you forever, so. It's up to you guys what you want to do, but this has been a general care video for Crested Geckos. Uh, just a quick recap. They stay very small. Their lifespan's about 15 years. They are from New Caledonia. Their minimum cage requirement is 18 by 18 by 24. They eat Crested Gecko diet or crickets if you really want to. They don't require very high temperatures, anywhere between the 68 to 77 degree Fahrenheit or 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, and misting them is very important. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was very long awaited. As I said, I will leave a link down below for the setup to this cage, and if you're interested, by all means, copy me. That's what I'm here for, is to give you guys help. As well as check out my Facebook page. I'll leave the links in the description. My Instagram will be down there as well. I post mostly reptile stuff, so if you guys are interested, by all means, follow me on those social media. This coming Wednesday, I should be having a plant tour coming out of all the plants. I also have some upstairs in my mom's sewing room, which I'll be showing you. Which should be coming out around Wednesday-ish. I'm not sure exactly when yet, but that's probably when I'll upload it. Now, if you like the video, do drop a like down below. It helps me out a ton. If you like this video a ton, share it on Facebook. Um, let your friends see it if they're interested in reptiles. I'm sure it won't harm them. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything I may have forgotten or anything like that, drop it in the comments down below. I answer every comment that's able to be answered. And subscribe to my channel for more reptile awesomeness like this. Have a good weekend, guys. Graphic Phoenix, Adi.